Hello Aquarius. This is a bonus reading I'm giving you for the first part of September. As I promised, as you know, it may not resonate with everyone and I'm hoping for new energies or it could take off from the last reading. Sometimes it does that too. But this is for Aquarius. Five card spread. Beginning of September 2019 bonus reading. Give me new energies coming in for Aquarius <clears throat> or more information. We need more information, possibly. Hopefully a positive reading. Let's see what we got here coming in. I like to use this deck. To me, it's my go-to deck. It helps me uh, to um, decide on my life and what I can do and not do with it, you know? You haven't made a final decision on something, possibly, with the Aeon. Sort of like the judgment card. But it's uh, it's in reverse. It's making a... Usually when it's in the upright, it's about making a final decision. But for some reason, you haven't made one on something. And we'll find out what that is in a minute. And as you know, when I clarify, it changes up the story. So stick with me and we'll get it out there. Past. Prince, Princes of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in reverse. That could be you. Maybe you're feeling a little antsy. Maybe you're feeling... Um, under the weather, maybe you feel irritated, but whatever it is, you're feeling, you know, a little bit on the reversal side. I got to bring up this light a little closer so we can see it. It's putting off a shadow. I don't like it. Let me see if that's better. That's a little bit better. Obstacle, Prince of Disc, could be an earth sign. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or if, you know, not feeling well themselves, not 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 feeling stability. You yourself can take on this energy. It doesn't have to be an Earth sign. You could not be feeling real secure. Maybe you're not getting messages in that uh, that uh, promise stability. You know, in your life, current environment. You got a lot of choices to make, and you're feeling like with these choices or options. You feel like none of them are good for you or or they're not what you're wanting or they're just playing out wrong in some ways. But they're out there. It's just like, come on now. I, I want more than this. That's what you're thinking. What is coming towards you? Someone doesn't want to battle. Someone doesn't want to have strife, possibly. Someone wants to come out of strife. But we got to clarify to find out who and what it is because that's the outside environment beyond your control. This thing is grabbing. I do have new tablecloth. I got to put it on there. In the end, someone puts down their swords. They don't want to argue, whether you don't want to argue or someone else, or you're seeing things for how they are. Where before you may have put up blockers up because you just didn't want to deal with the situation. But we got to find out. I got to clarify these. They don't tell me a whole lot except for that you do have a lot of options. Someone doesn't want to argue. And maybe someone else um, unblocks you or puts down their swords in some way. So let's go back to the beginning. In the past position is you. I'm pretty sure it's you. Or messages. Could be messages that were pretty sharp. But I'm feeling like you're just not liking what is occurring around you and the things that have been going on around you. And maybe there has been arguments, because I do see the strife card, but it is in reverse. Sometimes it's about staying in strife, so that's why we clarify. But let's go back to the past. Prince of Swords. Actually, it's Princess of Swords. I almost said that. This came out. You could be dealing with a um, fire sign. Someone who's got a lot of energy, someone who's very magnetic, good looking usually. Um, they're not too old or young. They're like middle age, not middle age, but like in their 30s or 40s. Sometimes the nights are. I just put that out there. But they're they're go getters, and maybe you're you're having trouble with them. That wants to come out. The lovers in reverse, or the love in reverse, want to come in of anxiety because it was nothing just but a little bad luck there, you know. That's the cruelty card in reverse and the wheel of fortune in reverse and, you know, love in reverse. So, it's maybe you were trying to deal with a fire sign or, like I said, someone with a lot of fire energy. And maybe you're trying to come in of anxiety. It's like, oh, it's just been nothing but bad luck and situations beyond my control, which I can see over here. 
But I'm thinking, hmm, we shall, see. you know, that love situation that everybody's been going through, it's kind of crazy the first part of September. It's just not Aquarius. It's everybody that's going through something. That's kind of, so the thing is, just try not to let it get to you as much. I know it's easier said than done, but these energies will pass if you're having troubles, especially, you know, the end of August and um, first couple weeks of September. Now, the obstacle is the Prince of Dis, and I told you that was an earth element, possibly in reverse, um, and stability. Could be messages that you're also waiting to receive a stability. I didn't think of that. That will um that you're waiting for maybe is not come in, but the Prince of Disc in reverse while you're there for Aquarius as the obstacle. Someone's getting a little defensive. That's all it has a lot to do with it. Two people are really irritated, like like really irritated everywhere. So Prince of Disc, Seven of Wands, both in reverse as the obstacle while you're there. Yeah, and someone's wanting something else to come in that's more positive with the Three of Wands. But it seems like every time you're waiting for this, like someone gets irritated, angry, says the wrong things. It could be anything. But remember, this energy will pass. Don't let it, you know, get to you too much because everybody, like I said, is going through it. A lot. Well, most of you. I'm not talking just about Aquarius, like I said. But... Current environment, you do have a lot of options and choices to make or to choose from, but you're not liking any of them. It also means confusion. For some others, they have, may have too many options with people, you know, with dating and getting together. And maybe they feel like this is none of them what they're wanting or the situations they're not liking. So the Seven of Cups in the upright, why are you there for Aquarius as the current environment? Two wants to come out, I'm going to let it. Could have to do with a water energy or a loving message. Maybe someone sends you a message. Maybe they, maybe for some of you with the devil in reverse, it could be that somebody is trying to um, unchain themselves from a situation or you're trying to unchain yourself from a situation that has to do with the seven of cups. It's like for some of you, you do not know if you want to um, tie yourself down with negativity. Does it maybe somebody's making you an offer and you're like, I don't know if I want that. So the devil reverses when it does that. Um, it could have to do with the Princess of Cups. And the Princess of Cups can be a water sign or a message of, of, of emotional nature that someone is sending you. Maybe someone um, of a water element may ask you or make an offer to you or a proposal, you know, and you're like, I don't know if I want this with the devil in reverse. That's what it does. Now, the outside environment is the five of wands in reverse. And this is something beyond your control. has nothing you can do about it too much, you know, with someone else's feelings, but you can control what happens in your life and whether you accept it. But it's actually the five of wands in reverse, like I said. So why are you there? For Aquarius as the outside environment. What is going on? Yeah, someone wants to break free of a negative situation around you or near you. And maybe they make you an offer, but you're like, ah, I don't think I like this offer. Or I don't know if I'm ready for this offer. You know, because I did see some kind of like battles in the past where someone's trying to come in anxiety with another person so you could be dealing with more than just one person here and trying to decide what you're wanting so the five of wands seven of swords both in reverse as the outside environment why are you there so i'm thinking someone wants to break free of arguments with you and it can very have to do very well have to do with the queen of cups which can be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio i don't um, assign just one water sign to any of the court cards, you know, when they come up as a water sign. But I'm seeing somebody wants to come out of strife and break free from a negative situation. So in the end, you've got the two of swords. You may let your guard down a little. Maybe you're you're thinking, you know, I'm going to talk to them. I'm going to listen to what they have to say. Because the two of swords is in reverse where before you kind of put up blockers with this person. And, and you refuse to, you know, even acknowledge their situation. So the two of swords in reverse as the final outcome. And for some of you, someone could be doing this to you. You know, where it's the opposite way. Where you wanted this and they put up the blockers. Sometimes that happens. It gets flipped. But the Two of Swords in reverse while you're there. 
oops, wanted to come out. Is it someone you're unblocking or seeing for, seeing them or talking to them or seeing things for how they are with a hair font reverse? Usually, someone you had a contract with, someone that was considered um, solid at one time with a hair font in reverse. So the two of swords, the hair font in reverse. Why are you there for Aquarius? Why are you there? Three more want to come out and we'll let it. Yes, yeah, yeah, so you can be happy. You know, again, there's this. You may turn down some offers, even though you may be seeing things for how they are, and you may go out with this person, but you may not accept what they have to offer. Not necessarily that you're going to reject them totally. It's just that you're weighing <clears throat> your options before you um, jump into something, possibly with an ex. Sometimes it's ex, you know business people you're dealing with but I'm thinking it's more of the emotional nature because I see too much emotions here so you're going to put down your blockers with an X because someone wants to be happy whether you want to be happy or they want to be happy just so like hey let's cheer up let's go out let's talk because I see the three of uh, cups here where someone goes out and hangs out and breaks bread with each other go out to have dinner wine whatever you want to do but um yeah, with the Seven of Cups, i got to hear twice. you got to, as the current environment and the outcome, the current environment is making all the choices. What do you want to do? But in the end, it's like, I don't think I want to commit yet because I do see, like, you do not want to be stuck and chained to a situation that you're not fully trusting yet because I do see, like, arguments, like I said in the past, even though someone is trying to overcome them with you, they're trying to break free from a negative situation and say, hey, you know, what's up? What are you doing? Want to go out? And you're like a little bit at a time, not trusting it, saying, well, maybe, but I don't know if I like the situation in which you're proposing, but I do not mind going out and having a little fun either. So it's up to you, you know? Do you want to go out and hang out with this person? Because I see that kind of coming I, I see that kind of coming where someone want to may, may want to break bread with you, you know, sit down, like I said, and celebrate or just enjoy yourselves. It could be more than just one person you're dealing with, too, with the Three of Cups. You may be dealing this with a couple of people. Because when I see the Seven of Cups, like I said, it's a lot of options. So maybe you're just not wanting to commit. Maybe you do not want to be tied down. Maybe you do not trust um, past situations, thinking arguments will just occur again. But at the same time, you do not mind. Excuse me, I didn't get all this in. You do not mind breaking a little bread and enjoying yourself either. You're just not wanting to put yourself 100% out there yet, if that makes any sense. Like I said, it could be uh, flipped where someone else feels this about you. But I'm reading this for Aquarius. This is your bonus. I do, um, I think in the last reading you were considering stuff and you were wanting a happy home. and um, Or somebody was with you and you were wanting to, the universe was telling you to make a decision. Well, I see in the beginning part that this is like part of that where someone's wanting something from you. And you got to make a decision what you're wanting. And I do see you letting down your swords. But at the same time, like I said, you're not 100% sure. You want to dive deep. You're going to give it a little bit of time. You're going to let them into your life again, possibly. Or somebody you're going to let into your life again. And have an enjoyment of at least sitting down and, you know, talking. So this is your reading, and I will let this go, and um, I'll be back for the mid-September reading. And remember, these energies are just really kind of strifey right now, where people are a little tense. It will pass, so don't let it get to you too much. Don't let it rule your life and take over, okay? And I'll talk to you later. Bye.